Okay, guys, let's say I tell you that A plus B is equal to 4. Can you find out the number of solutions for A and B? Uh, you will say, yes, the answer is there will be infinite solutions. Why? Because I have not specified the nature of A and B. Okay, you can take A as 2 and B as 2. You can take A as 4 and B as 0. You can take A as, B as, 0, okay? you can take A as let's say, 9 by 2. Okay, and you can take B as minus half. Okay, you can take A as, uh, let's say, uh, 8. You can take B as minus 4. Okay, so we'll have infinite possible solutions depending upon the uh, number, the type of uh, values you take for A and B, right? But if I specify that A plus B is equal to 4 and A and B are whole numbers, now the number of solutions will get limited, right? So as and when we put the constraint on the category of numbers that we're taking, the number of solutions will always become more and more finite. Okay, so here you will observe that uh, A and B can take these values. We have five such solutions. Okay, these these particular equations, okay, they are called a special equation. They are linear equations having two variables, but they have a certain constraint that limits the number of solutions that they have. Otherwise, A plus B equal to 4 as you saw will have infinite solutions. Okay, but given the condition that A and B belong to whole numbers, the number of solutions reduce considerably. Okay. Find out how many non-negative integral solutions means whole number solutions exist for the following equations. X plus Y equals to 10. From the logic of the previous question, we can start by taking X as 10, Y is 0. X as 9, Y is 1. This will go on up till X is 0 and Y is 10. 0 select at 10. I have exactly 11 solutions. That's the answer for this question. There will be 11 solutions. Go on to the next one. 3A plus 2B equals 24. Okay, if you take 3a plus 2b equals to 24, okay, you can start by taking 3 8s are 24. Okay, then b is 0, right? Okay, now you can't take a as uh, 7 in this case because if you take a as 7, 3 7s are 21, 2b plus 24 minus 21 is 3, which is not an integer, right? So you can't take a as 7. Can you take a as 6? Mm, yeah, I think you can take a as 6. 3 into 6 is 18. 18 plus 2b is 24. Yes, 24 minus 18 will be equal to So basically 2b will be equal to 6. Isn't it? That will give you b is equal to 3. Okay. So they go. A is reducing by a gap of 2, right? So what will be 4? And b will increase by a gap of 3. So it will become 6. Same way, it, this will become now 2. And this will now become 9. And last, this will become 0. And this will become 12. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 solutions in this case. So this will have five solutions. Okay. Yeah, we had 11. Yeah, we had five. Next question. 11p plus 2q equals to 30. So p you take 0. 2 into 15 is 30. That is the first solution. Okay. Now, next solution ka boga when you take p as 2. Okay, 11 to the 22. 2 4 is 8. Okay, these are the only possible two solutions. Right, guys? Because if you increase the value of p further, q becomes negative. Not possible. 